Is Toronto Liberal MP Adam Vaughan a malicious peddler of the very fake news his government is just so keen to fight in the lead up to the next election? Or is he just a bit of an intellectual featherweight who constantly puts his Twitter foot in his big fat mouth? I'll lay out the facts today and you can decide for yourself. You know, I'm from Alberta, so I don't generally pay a lot of attention to Liberal MPs from Ontario unless they're in cabinet. Except for Adam Vaughn. He likes to say crazy things about gun owners and stuff about how he wants to take guns from the imaginations of children. And he says things like poverty is a lethal form of violence. I think Vaughn thinks he sounds wisely philosophical instead of just kind of weird. He's an out-of-touch, urbane, rich Toronto liberal trying to poor splain to the rest of us about the struggles of the little people. Vaughn sounds a lot like... Oprah Winfrey on a psilocybin mushroom trip most days. So I pay attention to him, well, for entertainment's sake, to be honest, but also because I think he's actually a really good example of the unfiltered, unspun liberal mind. I think most liberals think the way Vaughn does. They just aren't Adam Vaughn enough to say it. Lately, Vaughn has moved from abstract, metaphysical concepts about controlling the minds of small children who just want to play cops and robbers and how low bank balances will somehow give you a black eye when you're not looking to straight up spreading fake news on the internet. Let me show you this because the story has absolutely everything. It has fake news and then double fake news and then the CBC's disinformation fact checker weighed in and got it all wrong. Boy, you know what? We are in really good hands in this next election, aren't we? Anyway, Vaughn sent this tweet here. Conservatives tried to take away health care for the children of refugees. Now they are trying to blame school cuts on these children. All children need care and all should be in school. We all know where right-wing scapegoating leads us. Our government won't cage children. Then Vaughn attached that image of children in what looks like a holding facility behind fencing, sleeping on mats on the floor underneath emergency blankets. The Canadian Conservatives want to take health care away from these children here, these ones right here. And the Canadian Conservatives are blaming these children right here for school cuts. Well, that is pretty weird because those children are not in Canada at all. A reverse Google image search tells the truth about Vaughn's big fat lie. Here's where that photo really came from. A view of inside U.S. Customs and Border Protection, CBP, detention facility shows children at Rio Grande Valley Centralized Processing Center in Rio Grande City, Texas, United States, June 17, 2018. Picture taken on June 17, 2018, courtesy of CBP handout via Reuters. So somehow, magically, Andrew Shear or Doug Ford are responsible for children in a Customs and Border Patrol facility in Rio Grande City, Texas? Is there nothing these conservatives can't do? This is classic, formulaic, fake news in action. Anyway, it gets worse because, friends, this is actually double fake news. Wacky Adam says his government won't cage children. Oh, but they already do. Look at this from the CBC of all places. Last year, 151 minors were detained with their parents in Canadian immigration holding centers. 11 others were held in custody unaccompanied by an adult. According to the Canada Border Services Agency, the CBSA would not speculate on the circumstances surrounding why a minor was unaccompanied. So I guess if Adam Vaughn wanted heart-wrenching pictures of caged children, he could have just posted a photo of the 162 that his government held entirely on his watch. But the story gets even more perfect if that were even possible. Enter the CBC, and not just any CBC hack, but Kaylee Rogers. She's a senior reporter with CBC News covering disinformation online. She's the CBC fake news expert. This is, it's too perfect. Rogers jumps in to defend Vaughn against people who are saying his tweet was fake news. This is her tweet here. This looks pretty clear to me that he's talking about the U.S. 
What about this tweet makes you think he's trying to say the image is from Canada? Oh, I don't know. Besides the fact that he didn't say it was from the United States, Kaylee, how about the fact that Vaughn uses an image from the U.S. to elicit emotional responses, but then blames large C conservatives for what people see? As in the official conservative party here in Canada, Vaughn didn't say Republicans in Texas, which would have been accurate. That tells me he's talking about Canada. This is not rocket science. Adam Vaughn is spreading the very fake news his liberal government is so keen on stamping out on the internet in the lead up to the next federal election. And the state broadcaster, CBC's fake news fact checkers, well, they're helping him do it. Hello, Karina Gould, Minister of Democratic Institutions. I'd like to report a fake news hate crime. Lock him up. And the question still remains, is Adam Vaughn a run-of-the-mill internet idiot or a pernicious peddler of disinformation online? I suppose we'll have to wait for Adam to tell us. For The Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Liberals like Adam Vaughn, of all people, are threatening to stamp out fake news on the internet in the lead-up to the next election. But we know, for liberals, fake news just means news they don't like. One of the best ways to help us fight internet censorship is to like and share our content and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.